Pheasants American Eagle Most people believe these two birds are closely related, but surprisingly this isn't the case. Bald eagles belong to a group called fishing eagles, and are more closely related to kites. Golden eagles are more closely related to hawks called buteos, such as red-tailed hawks. Golden and bald eagles are majestic, large birds, that are revered by many people. But if these beautiful birds were to engage in a fight to death, which of them would win? Which is stronger? Let's meet our fighters. Physical Description and Habitat The Golden Eagle is the national bird of Mexico, Albania, Germany, Austria, and Kazakhstan, making it the most common national animal in the world. Adult Golden Eagles are dark brown with a golden sheen on the back of the head and neck. For their first several years of life, young birds have neatly defined white patches at the base of the tail and in the wings. Mexican Eagle range from Mexico through much of western North America as far north as Alaska, they also appear in the east but are uncommon. Golden Eagles are also found in Asia, Northern Africa, and Europe. Some Golden Eagles migrate, but others do not, depending on the conditions of their geographic location. Alaskan and Canadian Eagles typically fly south in the fall, for example, while birds that live in the western continental US tend to remain in their ranges year-round. The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States of America and appears on its seal. Bald eagles are not actually bald, the name derives from an older meaning of the word, white-headed. Adult bald eagles have white heads and tails with dark brown bodies and wings. They have a large, yellow bill and large feet, also yellow, equipped with strong talons. While the Mexican Eagle has feathered legs, American Eagle has no feathers on his legs. Immature birds have mostly dark heads and tails, their brown wings and bodies are mottled with white in varying amounts. Young birds attain adult plumage in about five years. Bald Eagles are found throughout North America and they are able to live anywhere with adequate nesting trees, feeding grounds, and roosts. They are a partially migrant species and if they have access to open water they will remain at the nesting site year-round. Those that do not have access to water migrate south or to coastal areas for the winter months. Size and Weight The Golden Eagle is one of the most well-known and magnificent birds of prey. They have a length of 75 to 90 centimeters, 30 to 35 inches, a wingspan up to 227 centimeters, 75 to 89 inches, and they weigh between 3 and 6.5 kilograms, 6.5 to 14 pounds. Bald eagles are large distinguished birds of prey. They have a body length between 71 and 96 centimeters, 28 to 38 inches, a wingspan up to 250 centimeters, 98 inches, and they weigh between 3 and 6.5 kilograms, 6.5 to 14 pounds. Flying Abilities Golden Eagles are sometimes considered the best flyers among eagles and perhaps among all raptorial birds. They are equipped with broad, long wings with somewhat finger-like indentations on the tips of the wing. Golden Eagles are unique among their genus in that they often fly in a slight dihedral, which means the wings are often held in a slight, upturned V-shape. When they need to flap, golden eagles appear at their most labored, but this is less common than soaring or gliding. Flapping flight usually consists of six to eight deep wing beats, interspersed with two to three second glides. While soaring, the wings and tail are held in one plane with the primary tips often spread. A typical, unhurried soaring speed in golden eagles is around 45 to 52 kilometers per hour, 28 to 32 miles per hour. When hunting or displaying, the golden eagle can glide very fast, reaching speeds of up to 190 kilometers per hour, 120 miles per hour. When stooping, diving, in the direction of prey or during territorial displays, the eagle holds its legs up against its tail, and holds its wings tight and partially closed against its body. When diving after prey, 
a golden eagle can reach 240 to 320 kilometers per hour, 150 to 200 miles per hour. Although less agile and maneuverable, the golden eagle is apparently quite the equal and possibly even the superior of the peregrine falcon stooping and gliding speeds. This makes the golden eagle one of the two fastest living animals. Although most flight in golden eagles has a clear purpose, example territoriality, hunting, some flights, such as those by solitary birds or between well-established breeding pairs, seem to be play. The bald eagle is a powerful flyer, and soars on thermal convection currents. It reaches speeds of 56 to 70 km per hour, 35 to 43 miles per hour, when gliding and flapping, and about 48 km per hour 30 miles per hour while carrying fish. Its dive speed is between 120 to 160 km per hour, 75 to 99 miles per hour, though it seldom dives vertically. Regarding their flying abilities, despite being morphologically less well adapted to faster flight than golden eagles, especially during dives, the bald eagle is considered surprisingly maneuverable in flight. Bounty hunters shooting from helicopters opined that they were far more difficult to hunt while flying than golden eagles as they would turn, double back or dive as soon as approached. Bald eagles have also been recorded catching up to and then swooping under geese in flight, turning over and thrusting their talons into the other bird's breast. The eagle is further aided in flight because its bones are hollow. Unbelievably, the total weight of an eagle skeletal system is only half the weight of its feathers and it represents about 5% of the total body weight. With a wingspan of 7 to 8 feet and a white and rudder-like tail, the eagle was built to master the skies. Hunting and Weapons Golden eagles usually hunt during daylight hours, but were recorded hunting from one hour before sunrise to one hour after sunset during the breeding season in southwestern Idaho. The hunting success rate of golden eagles was calculated in Idaho, showing that, out of 115 hunting attempts, 20% were successful in procuring prey. Golden eagles can fly hundreds of miles while foraging for their food. They are excellent hunters and they often work in pairs while hunting, one eagle drives the prey to its waiting partner. A golden eagle's diet consists primarily of small to medium-sized mammals such as rabbits, ground squirrels, and marmots, as well as birds and reptiles. They have been observed preying on larger mammals like young pronghorn antelope and bighorn sheep, and even been known to attack full-grown deer. Ranchers once killed many of these birds for fear that they would prey on their livestock, but studies showed that the animal's impact was minimal. Today, golden eagles are protected by law. Golden eagles are terrestrial predators. They are rarely found near the water and generally do not feed on fish. Like all raptors, eagles kill their prey with their talons. The talons on their feet kill and carry the prey, while the beak is only for eating. Each eagle foot has four very sharp talons, three in the front facing back, and one larger talon, the hallux, in the back, facing forward. The long, straight, and powerful hallux claw, hind claw, of the golden eagle can range from 4.5 to 6.34 centimeters, 1.77 to 2.50 inches, about one centimeter longer than in a bald eagle and a little more than one centimeter less than a harpy eagle. The crushing strength of each talon, provided by powerful leg muscles, is estimated to be at least 400 pounds per square inch, per talon. We can produce about 20 pounds of pressure in our hands as we squeeze. By contrast, a strong eagle can produce the same power in its feet as a Rottweiler's jaws, says Dominic King, chief falconer at Tato Park. Although thinner, the eagle's talons are as long as a grizzly bear's claws. Experienced falconers say that these deadly weapons often pierce the lungs, fracture bones or even pierce the skulls of small mammals that the eagle attacks. When they attack bigger animals, they like to go for the eyes. For general hunting, a lot of time they grab the animal instantaneously, and the talons enter on both sides, between the ribs, and puncture the lungs. 
then they sit and watch, and wait, or come back later, says Fairbanks wildlife biologist Rod Borch. A strong eagle can crush the skull of a monkey with just one foot, says Dominic King, chief falconer at Tato Park. Although eagles have the power to kill prey many times their own size, they are unable to carry more than just a few pounds. A fully grown golden eagle requires about 230 to 270 grams, 0.5 to 0.6 pounds, of food per day but in the life of most eagles there are cycles of feast and famine, and eagles have been known to go without food for up to a week and then gorge on up to 900 grams, 2.0 pounds, at one sitting. Bald eagle are the only species of eagle native to North America and they have been a protected species since 1940. They really love fish. When catching fish, bald eagle do not enter the water like the osprey, instead they use their strong feet and sharp claws to snatch dead or dying fish or those that live near the surface of the water. A bald eagle's lifting power is about 4 pounds. Once an eagle spots a fish swimming or floating near the water surface, it approaches its prey in a shallow glide and then snatches the fish out of the water with a quick swipe of its talons. Eagles can open and close their talons at will, although, a hungry eagle can be dragged into the water when refusing to release a heavy fish. Unfortunately, the eagle might drown during the encounter with the fish, eagles are strong swimmers, but if the water is very cold, the bird might be overcome by hypothermia. If an eagle falls into the water during an aerial fight over food with another eagle or accidentally falls into the water, they are able to take flight from the water surface. American eagles are opportunistic predators, and when fish aren't available, they'll eat whatever they can catch, including small birds and rodents. Bald eagles are also scavengers that will feed on carrion. If they see an opportunity, Bald eagles may even steal food from other birds such as osprey. Like all the others eagles, the bald eagle's eyesight is especially remarkable. An eagle's eye is almost as large as a human's, but its sharpness is at least five times that of a person with perfect vision. That's why an eagle can spot a target as small as a rabbit up to a mile away. In addition, an eagle has excellent depth perception due to the overlap, of the right and left fields of vision. Another interesting and noteworthy thing about the bald eagle is that this bird builds the largest nest of any North American bird. Their nest can be up to 4 meters, 13 feet, deep and 2.5 meters, 8.2 feet, wide in a tree or sometimes on the ground. Conclusions This time I will not tell you who I think will win this fight, but I will quote Jack Whitman, the Fairbanks wildlife biologist who studied the golden eagles in Idaho. Golden eagles are formidable predators in Alaska. Bigger and more aggressive than bald eagles, golden eagles prey on young doll sheep and caribou, and can take even larger prey. They're built for killing. Comparing their physical strength and food habits to bald eagles, the golden eagle is an aggressive, successful predator, and the bald eagle is a really good scavenger. How often do you see a golden eagle at a garbage dump? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and start the notifications. I am waiting for you next week with another interesting confrontation. Thank you for watching and for all your support.